So today we are looking at experiment 27, and uh, this is color chemistry. So uh, we're going to use these multi-fiber fabric strips to dye our fabrics with, and uh, we're going to investigate two different types of uh, dyeing methods. We're going to take a look at direct dyeing and ingrain dyeing for today. And so I'm going to have Lee bring the camera closer so that we can take a look at the different fiber strips here and uh, what are they specifically made of. All right. On this multi-fiber fabric strip, we have uh, acetate, which is a synthetic fiber. We've got cotton, which is a natural occurring fiber. Uh, nylon is synthetic, as well as polyester. Uh, acrylic is another synthetic fiber. And then we have worsted wool, which is a uh, treated type of natural wool. So just for a little bit of uh, more information at the moment, let's take a look at what is uh, direct dyeing. Uh, direct dyeing is pre-synthesized dyes, and it is a um, dissolved in water or any other solution that will dissolve the compound, uh, and it is heated. Uh, your fabric is added to the solution once the dye has dissolved, and uh, you know as it's boiling, the dye will adhere to the fabric. Uh, there's many different types of dye that can be used in this fashion. Uh, the majority of them happen to be azo dyes, which are nitrogen-based molecules that have uh, benzene rings and various groups. All right, so students, we are going to start by measuring our ingrain dye components. And here we have the compound malachite green. Uh, we're going to weigh 20 milligrams of this compound, which is 0 0.02 on the scale. And I'm going to weigh it directly into the beaker because it has a tendency to um, uh, kind of explode out of its container. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this beaker so I can add as close to 20 milligrams of compound as I can. And because this component uh, is not the most safe, I'm going to go ahead and tap down the cap, make sure that we don't have any compound that's going to pop up on me as I open the container. Let me open up my scale here, and again, the goal is 20 milligrams or 0 Here. Okay, looks like we've made it. So here I have 0 0.023 uh, grams of malachite green into my beaker. And I'm going to go ahead and place this to the side and repeat this process with the compound Eosin Y. Okay, so if you notice right now, we have just the solid malachite green in the beaker. And if you notice, we have a couple of sprinkles up here of the malachite green uh, as it is quite staticky uh, compound. Eosin Y is not as uh, tricky or toxic in terms of its uh, ability to be weighed but I'm still going to perform the same function here to ensure that we have an accurate mass in our beaker. Okay, that was much easier. Now we have a container with 0 0.02 three grams of the ocean Y as well. 
Okay, let's go get some solution into these beakers and uh, start the dyeing process. So go ahead and dissolving our solution. So I've added 20 milliliters of water to the malachite green solution and I placed it on the hot plate to allow it to boil. I'm going to do the same for EOS and Y. And typically we would use two different hot plates for this situation, but we're going to go ahead and place them on the same hot plate and allow them to get to a boil. Once we get these fabric or get these dye solutions up to a boil, we will add the fabric strip, and I will show you uh, what the fabric looks like against the key that you saw in the beginning, so that we can see how the different fibers uh, color with both of these. Colors. And so we are currently direct dyeing with the malachite green and the Eos and Y, and just to uh, you know remind you about the different multi-fiber fabric strip we have here. Uh, we will take a look at uh, what each of these colors looks like once the solution has been applied to the fabric strip. Okay. So I added a watch glass as a lid for my two beaker solutions here just because they do create a whole lot of mess. And I'm going to go ahead and dump my fabric strip into the solution, make sure that it's completely immersed. And we're going to let that solution boil for about three minutes. I'm going to also do it for my EOS and Y solution. And fully immerse my fabric strip in the solution. So here we have the solutions still boiling, and we're about three, almost three minutes in. And as soon as we get to that three minute mark, I will be removing the solution or the fabric strips from the solution. I have here a, a beaker of just uh, tap water, and I'm going to use this to rinse my uh, fabric strip as soon as it comes out of the beaker. So, go ahead and take off the uh, my lid here. Right now, it's very dark, uh, you know, as it's absorbing the solution. I'm going to dump it in here and just give it a wash. So now that I have given it a decent rinse off in my beaker of tap water, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pat dry this with a paper towel. And while this is between paper towels, I'm going to repeat this process with my EOS and Y fabric strip. I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the heat. And again, I'm going to dunk my uh, fabric strip in a solution of plain tap water just to give it a rinse. Go ahead and turn off the heat. So, so far we have an EOS and Y strip, and uh, in just a moment, once they're a little more dry, I'm going to place them next to the uh, fabric strip that had the listing of what type of fabric it is in each uh, square, and we'll take a look at how they colored. Okay, students, so this is the results of our direct dyeing with malachite green and EOS and Y. And if you notice here, I placed a staple at the same location where acetate is at. 
So the top uh, piece of fabric is acetate, followed by cotton, and then we have nylon, uh, polyester, and then we have uh, oh, polyamide, and then wood. And then of course, again, we have acetate, cotton, polyester, uh, let's see here, a different, oh sorry, polyamide, polyester, acrylic, and then wool. Okay, so uh, we have a, a bunch of uh, synthetic fibers and naturally occurring fibers. And I want you to notice carefully that the wool colored very dark in both cases, but in some cases uh, the synthetic fibers were able to color a little darker on the malachite green. In the EOS and Y, it, looked like, it looks like uh, the natural fibers are the ones that dye the darkest. So uh, keep that in mind when you're answering your post-lab questions.